Hello everybody, welcome back to Sophisticates by Mary. For this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this wedding cake for a New Year's Eve wedding. They wanted to include a night sky with mirror glaze and some sugar crystals to kind of help to ring in the new year. If this sounds interesting, stick around. So first we need to layer up our cake and use a buttercream dam. The buttercream dam is thickened buttercream that keeps your filling from spilling out the sides. Then go ahead and add some of your filling and spread it around to the buttercream dam with your offset spatula. Making sure to eliminate any air bubbles. Then add your next layer of cake, making sure to remove that parchment paper. <laughs> and then repeat the process. I like to go ahead and pipe some more of that thickened buttercream in between the layers of cake just to make sure that you don't have any of that filling spilling out or any air bubbles trying to sneak out of your cake layers. Go ahead and apply your crumb coat. And a crumb coat is just a thin layer of buttercream that traps in all of your crumbs and keeps them from coming out in your final layer of buttercream. Now smooth them out as good as you can and remove that lip from the top. Now go ahead and pop it in your refrigerator for 20 minutes or your freezer for 10 minutes and then go ahead and bring it out and do your final layer of buttercream as I am showing you here. For the last two tiers, the middle and the top tier of this tiered cake, I went ahead and just did the filling and the crumb coat off camera because I figured you see it with one layer of cake or one tier of cake, you know how I did it with the other ones. So there's no need to go through that whole process. So this is just the final coat of buttercream on the middle tier. And then I am starting to apply that to the top tier. This top tier is going to have the mirror glaze and it's going to have colors of blue. So I wanted to go ahead and do basically a primer coat. Have some of the color in your buttercream so that you're not seeing that white buttercream popping through. Now I'm going to start attaching my sugar crystals. And what I did there was I turned the cake upside down. I put a parchment paper round on top of it and then topped that with a cake board and just flipped it upside down. I find that is the easiest way to attach your sugar crystals or your dragees, whatever you're using, around the top edge of your cake. Now I'm just using a combination of a brush and my hand to get those sugar crystals stuck. And go ahead and pop it up on its right side or the correct end, turn it right side up again and go ahead and make sure that you have that entire layer covered with sugar crystals. Remove your excess with a brush and go ahead and just hang on to those. I do have a sheet pan underneath my turntable to collect the sugar crystals so I do not waste them or chase them all over the bakery. I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom tier, but on this tier, we wanted it to be kind of dripping down. The crystals coming from the top and gradiating down to less towards the middle. So when you tip it back up on its right side, it comes from the top down. And I'm just using the fan brush to apply that here. Since I'm not worried about having the entire tier covered with sugar crystals, I wanted it more random. So the brush works really well for that. I didn't have to add anything to these cakes because from bringing them out from the refrigerator, there was a little bit of condensation on them as they sit and the sugar crystals stuck to that. Now we're gonna make the mirror glaze. I used black, navy, and royal blue are the colors I used. And this is my mirror glaze, white chocolate mirror glaze already made. And I have a sheet pan and a cooling rack and a little cake pan that I'm gonna set the cake on when I do the glaze. 
So I am just divvying up this mirror glaze in between the three different measuring cups and I will link the recipe down below in the description. This is not my recipe and I don't want to claim it as mine, but the recipe that I will attach will show you exactly how to make it. I'm just adding my gel food coloring as much as you want to get the amount of color that you want. Now make sure that you're not waiting too long to do this because you don't want a skin to form on top of your mirror glaze. That just makes it a little harder to get it. It won't want to um, fall down the sides of the cake as, as smoothly as it should. And I like to tap the bottom just to remove some of those air bubbles that you accidentally create when you're mixing your colors. Now I'm going to layer this up in a bigger measuring cup. I'm going to start with the dark color first, the black, because that's going to be my, my base color. And then I'm just drizzling in, or puddling in, however you want to call it, the other two colors. Take your cake. Your cake needed to be in the freezer to firm up real well for probably about a half an hour before you even attempt to do this. And I just drug a spatula through to combine the colors a little bit before I start in the middle and then uh, drizzle it out in a circular motion to make sure you get all of those edges covered. And go ahead and pop it back in your refrigerator immediately to get it to firm up. Now I cut these supports off camera just because there's a lot of steps to this and this will be a very long video. And I'm gonna show you how I let the weight of the cake that I am putting on top of this layer, this tier, do a lot of the work for me. I pull those um, supports up so that I can have room to remove my fingers from underneath the next layer. And you saw there how the weight of itself pushed itself down most of the way. And then I just used a cake board on top to push it down the rest of the way. Now every tier that I am putting on here has been chilled or put in the refrigerator so that they are firm enough that I can handle them with my hands. Clean, dry hands. I always say that, clean, dry hands. Now I just put some more sugar crystals in between the two tiers and I'm just arranging them. Now once your mirror glaze has set up for probably a good, I would even give it an hour, let those drips settle off use your offset spatula to remove the drips from the bottom before you even attempt to put it on your next your next um on top of your other tier of cake now i just use a star cutter to mark where i'm going to put the next supports and you don't see me doing those next supports because my big fat face wouldn't get out of the way and i was making some interesting looking faces so i just edited that out since you saw me do it on the bottom tier and i just use a wooden skewer here i cut it to the height sharpen the tip and push it down through both of these layers or different these tiers of cake and then I just put some buttercream on there and watch this I slowed this down I let, or I kept it slow so you can see the struggle is real <laughs> this I'm not gonna lie is scary and you'll see my boss appearing right there just to try to help me but I just had to go with it I and luckily I aimed it just right <laughs> and got my fingers out of the way since that mirror glaze had set in the refrigerator it was a little bit more forgiving but you don't want to touch it it's sticky and it likes to ding now I'm literally throwing sugar crystals at the cake <laughs> I wanted them to be more of a gradation upward also and to hide that seam in between the top and middle tier and since your mirror glaze is sticky you throw them at them they're gonna stick And the last thing I did was I used some white food coloring with a little bit of Everclear mixed in with it. And I am just spraying it on the cake to try to give the look of a night sky with some stars. Just use that brush and just flick it on there. And make sure you don't do that before it is set. If it is not set yet, those stars will just turn into drip looking marks. So there you go guys my New Year's Eve mirror glaze night sky inspired sparkly wedding cake. I hope you liked it.
So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to check out my other social media, I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next tutorial.